Okay, hi everybody. Uh, we're here with CineWave chatting to our potential partners um, and great people around the world who want to work with CineWave. Uh, we met Julia a little while ago, actually. She found us on the internet and it's been a fantastic conversation since where we've really talked about how CineWave obviously can help with you know, uh, filmmakers and getting their films out there and distributing because basically we take away a lot of the infrastructure costs of setting up a cinema. But maybe, Julia, you've sort of done some amazing work setting up something called Short and Sweet, which is like a movement. Uh, and it started in the UK, I believe, and now it's in many, many countries. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Oh, well, it's absolutely awesome to be here and to be sitting with you guys. Um, so yes, Short and Sweet is my little baby. Somebody showed me a short film in 2006 when I was in London. I was an agent for filmmakers, and my job was obviously to get them work, commercials and music videos, and off I would go to these advertising agencies and go and promote these filmmakers. And somebody, one of the creatives at an ad agency said, I want to show you something. And he showed me this little five-minute film called Jane Lloyd, and it was by Happy. And this five-minute film just blew my mind. I couldn't believe the story and, and, and the feelings that came out of it. And I was like, well, what? where do we see more of these? And there just wasn't a place to see these films. So I was like, well, we need to change that. So I started London's only weekly short film evening. And um, it ran every Monday night for five and a half years. And every Monday night, I showed a different selection of short films, music videos, and short animations from around the world old films and new films, from established directors to filmmakers that are completely undiscovered. The, the whole process, was, oh, it was free, by the way, <laughs> because, you know, the filmmakers weren't making money. This is an art form, and I, I sort of I look at Short and Sweet as a moving image gallery, you know. So I wanted people to just come there, and there were times when I had no money in London, and, you know, you want to be able to go and enjoy things. And true as Bob, every single Monday night, every single Monday night, that's uh, that room was packed. People came for the films. They were they came on their own, and you know the the feedback was just beautiful because people said, you know, oh, these films have changed my life, and and I know what I want to do with my life now. And and yeah, I, I'm a true believer in you know Tim Minchin, that incredible comedian and philosopher. He said, you know, when you find something that you love, you've got to spray it. And I love that. And I found something that I loved, and I found something that really changed my life and I needed to share that. So the beauty of Short and Sweet has, um, uh, the magic at Short and Sweet is not only to create that platform for short filmmakers and to really put filmmakers that are completely undiscovered to the forefront, but also the way that I curate the films takes audiences on a journey. And I really want us to go through all the emotions. So we will laugh, we will cry, we will feel frustrated, challenged, horny. Maybe it depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> but, um, you know, we will always walk away feeling excited and inspired by our own creativity and power. And that is what um, short film is all about in the way that I, I exhibit it. So it's been absolutely magical just to try to wrap it up because I can talk for hours. But, um, the, uh, you know, people in the audience have actually taken, you know, they have enjoyed the experience so much. So they've gone back to their hometowns, Slovenia, Barcelona, Amsterdam, Toronto, Zimbabwe, et cetera, et cetera, uh, India, and have said, please, can we bring the short and sweet movement to our community? And I think short and sweet really puts short film on the map. We were really underground and independent, and it stayed like that. How did it work in terms of collecting your audience? You said it was packed every Monday night. Did it start off that way? Was it fast getting there? Or how, how did you get all those people? And, you know, how did, did, did those people then spread the word themselves? Was it all word of mouth marketing? You know, word of mouth marketing is the only marketing, no matter how we are living in a digital world, but word of mouth, hands down, will always win. You know, Jason, it's, it was just packed from day one. It's always been a huge success in every city. And I believe that it comes from here. You know, I, I really think that when you believe in something and you just, it comes from a good place and the energy is all right. There is, um, 
almost 100% chance that it will be a success. You discovered us somehow on the internet and uh, then got excited. And I got this message saying, this is great. <laughs> Please uh, contact us. Let's let's have a call. Yeah. What was it that went through your mind when you discovered us? And then as we had the conversation, what, what was it solving? What does Cinewave solve for you? You are the missing link. What you have created is the missing link in, in my world. You know, and I'll tell you why, because, um, you know, there, there are many places that you can show films, but they don't want the sound. I mean, I've done screenings on rooftops where literally the screening is an hour and a half, two hours. And there's that one person, there's always that one guy, you know, who's, um, who's miserable and will ruin it. And, you know, I've had people pre- uh, shine their laser beams on my screen, uh, you know, because they don't want the sound. And it's been, you know, it's been quite a... A uh, restricting thing because I've gone and shown films on the side of the wall, but I haven't been able to have the sound, and I've taken these short films everywhere I possibly can. But you know, I this is my passion, and as filmmakers are struggling, you know, to 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 make a living off their passion, I've also struggled to find a way to keep doing what I'm doing, but but making it financially um, sustainable. So. Um, you know, I went looking years ago. I'm like, there must be another solution other than these headphones. Come on, you know. And there was nothing. There was nothing. You know, the Bluetooth 5 doesn't work. And I just couldn't find anything. So I was like, there must be something that you can download and just listen to the film and then, you know, tap into it like that. And there wasn't. So, when you know, I, I have no idea how I, 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 no, I do know how I discovered you. I was doing my research and you know you go down the rabbit hole and somebody had written a beautiful comment about you and I just want to say you are so loved you know the community that I know you, you you've just launched and you're very new but there is just so much love and positive energy about who you are as people and what you're doing for 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 cinema I mean it is really a revolution so um you know and it's a game changer it seems like audio is the biggest issue for doing uh, event screenings. Even in cinemas, uh, audio is the biggest challenge. And just to make the bridge a little bit for people that maybe are joining now, I'll just uh, Jason, maybe walk people through a brief description of why we created Cinewave and, and exactly what we set out to, to solve with Cinewave. Yes, well, basically, we were filmmakers who faced many of the same problems that you talked about, which is firstly, after making our film, we went to cinemas. And as we were getting our films into cinemas and in film festivals, one of the biggest issues we faced was good quality sound. Now, believe it or not, cinemas, not all of them are built very well for acoustics. And many of them in the festival circuit, especially, um, don't have great acoustics or they have surround speakers that don't work. And believe it or not, even in our own city, when we distributed our film, our our film actually ended up doing quite well through an independent release where we ran for two and a bit years. Um, So we became the longest running film in Singapore cinemas. Um, Despite that, we, we went to every single screening or every hall that we were going to screen in, we, we checked it and we found sometimes that, Speakers weren't working, they weren't on, they were buzzing through the film. And when we brought it up with management, we had to change those speakers or they had to change them. And we felt that going from hall to hall, the the experience was different. We we could never give them a constant experience or at least a consistent experience, you know, that was parallel to what we had created. Um, We also had a screening outdoors in the park, which was beautiful and was a dream of ours and we, we had this wonderful screening where we broke the record in the Botanic Gardens in Singapore. We had 2,000 people come out and watch our film for, for, for a, a couple of filmmakers that were unknown, like really. So it, it shows you that people are very open to seeing new content and being together and they love the big screen experience. So we learned a lot from that. But one of the things that we learned was that it's really hard to get audio out to 2,000 people without spending a pile of money. And even then it it's not perfect, obviously, because you're sitting too close to the right speaker or the left speaker is blasting over your head and you don't get that mix, the surround mix that we had intended. And so we thought, why don't we kill two birds with one stone and create this app and platform that allows you to watch something on a big screen, but listen to the audio on your smartphone. And uh, just like we're solving for your problem, 
Yes, we, we, we solved a lot of our issues. And what we realized was we are actually taking away almost half, if not more, of the infrastructure costs of a cinema. You know, each cinema hall in Singapore costs about a million dollars to build. So you'll find that in many places around the world, in all those towns that are outside of the major cities, you don't have cinemas simply because it's too expensive to build, too expensive to upkeep. What we did was take away your infrastructure costs by saying you don't need to have the acoustic treatment and architecture. You don't need to have all those speakers, expensive systems. All you need is someone's handphone and basically a projector and screen. Or like we have done many times, a projector and a wall. And uh, that's what CineWave is, basically. Um, the great thing is that when we've done our tests with students and, and you know, adults and, in multiple cities, many people have gone on record to tell us that this was a better experience than the cinema because they, they had such immersive, high-quality audio coming through their phone, which they could control. This, the quality of the sound when you guys gave me that demo Honest, I've never in my life. You have perfected, you've mastered this. It is a complete immersive experience. The sound quality is better than I've ever heard, you know. And it's funny that you go to a venue or there's always some technical issue. You know, my filmmakers have always been quite, you know, you want the, the quality on the image, you know, you want the image to be amazing. But there's, there's the sound has never been, it, there's always something with the sound and you really have solved that problem. But what you have really, really solved is the ticketing and, and the financial model around this. What you've created is just an opportunity with the incredible sound, this um, simple setup, and the ticketing system. I mean, it's beautiful because the ticketing system, you, you can really be transparent with it, and that's really important for me. You know, you, you guys have got a set fee for what you require. There's, you know... We put money um, aside for the filmmakers and then obviously a little bit for the, the festival organizer and everybody gets their cuts, but if they're buying an audio file, you know, and I think that's just a better way of, of looking at it than buying a ticket. You know, you're buying your, your ticket to, to view and to listen and, and just well done. I cannot wait to be the first person, and I'm telling you, I'm getting there before everybody else, um, to, to introduce CineWave and this new technology to Cape Town. That's where I am at the moment. And, uh, you know, we've got these guerrilla screenings planned, and we're going to paint the city with images and sound and new movies. And just, uh, you know, I just, it's incredible how these films just bring us together and create conversation. And, you know, people are, um, are hungry for that. Absolutely. And not just there. I mean, I think you should get it going in every major city including eventually Singapore. That's the beautiful thing with oh, the yes. distribution platform in the library is we yeah. we want those short films. And we, want, yes. we want it in every city and every I'm small sure. town and village. Why not? Yes. You know? Well, let's, we, we are going, guys. You know, this is the beginning of our conversation. I've got plans, and, and that, is, that is the big plan, really, to take the short and sweet experience and to expand it even further. But also, I just want to touch on the, on the fact that we are also creating jobs, you know. So for those people who who, who aren't doing anything and they, you know, they, they enjoy their short and sweet experience, you've got the solution. They can start their own, and 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 you know, there's that ecosystem, and with that, there comes more jobs, you know. So it's really empowering the uh, empowering the people on so many levels, and 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 you know. We don't have to be out of a job. I say that. Just start your own cinema, yay? 